coming to the first topic, equal loudness curve. As you should, we see a graph. Okay, this is a x x x axis, which is a frequency, which is in hertz, which is audio frequency, as you know, and y axis is the sound pressure level, which is in decibel. There are two aspects. See, one is the sound pressure level. See, sound pressure level is measurable. Is a physical entity which can be measured. Loudness is subjective. So basically, this is um, telling us something about the actual sound pressure level of what the measured entity and what our ears are going to respond in terms of the loudness. I will start with this particular, the first curve actually. This is, you can see the reference frequency is 1 kilohertz. Okay, for equal loudness curve, 1 kilohertz is taken as a reference frequency. So loudness level is determined in terms of forms. So here if we have 0 form, 10 form, 60 form, 90 form, 100. Of course, there are in between. I did draw. Uh, let me also put the actual uh, graph. Equal loudness curve, it means this curve determines equal loudness at different frequency. Now at 1 kilohertz, so like for example, you're listening to a 1 kilohertz tone at 10 dB. Say you're closing your eyes and you're listening to this frequency at 1 kilohertz. You see, or oh, you will hear at a particular loudness level. Then your friend is going to change the frequency. Let us say he is going to uh, play 100 hertz. Now at 100 hertz, 50 dB. So what it means is, when it's going to play 100 hertz, you will say I'm not able to hear clearly. Okay. Uh, can you just raise the level? Okay. Then you will raise the level and you have to raise to 50 dB so that I can listen at the same level, which is at this curve. Now, same way you go to 20 hertz, then you have to play at 80 dB. That means there is a boost of 80 dB is required so that you can listen at the same level. Okay, that is called as equal loudness. So for human ear to listen at an equal loudness curve, actually it is varying from frequency to frequency. At 94, you can see it is almost not much of difference actually, not much of difference. And here this curve, this we will call this as the hearing threshold. Above this is a hearing threshold where the auditory level starts. And here the maximum level with which our human ear can listen to that level, we call it as a threshold of pain. So basically from here to here to this region, yeah, that is this whole area is called as the auditory area. Now, let me take two different uh, curve actually. Uh, let us uh, take 10 form. 10 form curve, okay, at 1 kilohertz, right? At 1 kilohertz, it was 10 dB. At 20 hertz, how much it was? Let us say 80. 80 dB. Right? So, which means almost 70 dB level difference is there. L next, let us take a 90 form curve. Now, 90 form at 1 kilohertz, it's 90 dB. Correct? Uh, sorry, this will be 20 hertz. Huh? At 20 hertz, at 20 hertz, the 90 dB curve will be about 122 roughly. Huh? 122 dB. So this will come to about 32 dB.